you never want to mess with the person who saves somebody's life because when you have all the plans prepared to destroy them the king of all kings will look and say wait he's been saving people I'm gonna just gonna mess all of your plans Satan and when Haman comes in has everything prepared everything just needs a signature from the king the king interrupts everything and says there is a man in our kingdom I want to honor Haman immediately thinks there is nobody in the kingdom better than me of course he wants to honor me so Haman goes all cocky on himself he says king I want you to take that man put him on your own horse give him your clothes and let the most noble of your princes walk in front of that man and scream this is the man the king wants to honor and the king says is there anything else we can do king but just just really make him feel special the king says you know what I like that could you go and do that to this man named Mordecai that's exactly the man he wanted to assassinate this morning Haman's pride got crushed nothing is more embarrassing than honoring the man you are trying to hang but he had to do that because the king says so and that's where Haman's life went downhill from there my friends when we save people there will be times when things might not be going well in our life it's not gonna be our prayers that will bring change in our personal lives it will be the fact that God saw we agreed with the heart of God and God will touch our case and save our life and our situation because we saved others when Jesus was hanging on the cross his critics says said this of him Matthew chapter 27 he saved others himself he cannot save they were messed with the wrong man when you put a man who lived his life saving others on the cross and you dare to compliment him by saying he saved others I think God in heaven at that moment says you have no idea who you're messing with you're not messing with the man who made a living for himself you're messing with the man who gave his life for others and when they put him down put a biggest rock and put God waited until everything got so bad that God could step in and mess everything up so bad that Pharisees had to create the dumbest idea to fake Jesus's resurrection they had to tell and pay soldiers to go and tell everybody say this message tell everyone while we slept disciples stole the body now turn on your logic for a moment how could you see who steal something when you sleep that's pure kindergartners could come up with a better lie than Pharisees did why were they so foolish because that's how God embarrasses the plots of the enemy who mess with the saviors God will humiliate he will destroy the plots of the enemy why because God loves people who save and God will defend people who save even if the enemy maybe will have it will laugh and mock you but listen God will always have the last laugh and God will raise you up he will remove the stone and he did not remove the stone to let Jesus out he removed the stone to show us Jesus is not even there that's what God's gonna do for you and he's gonna do for me when we save other people God will save us God will save our situation God will rescue us out of our dilemma and we will be like Mordecai God will honor us not because we sought to honor ourselves but we sought to honor his name and to honor his cause in our generation can somebody say amen please don't be foolish today don't live your life for yourself don't try to pick your life by your own shoelaces don't try to promote yourself at the expense of other people there is a God in heaven and he watches everything yes you may succeed for a year or two but at the end God will move his big finger because in his records it will say there's men and there's women who saved others but they didn't get rewarded and God will reward them and those who destroyed others God says you know what you're gonna have to take the back seat because I'm gonna honor those who save other people. Can somebody say amen?